Where did you come from in Australia? Um, small place called Yetman. What was that like? Um, I grew up on a farm. Uh, kangaroo to, farm. Sorry? Kangaroo farm. No. Uh, sheep, cattle, crops. Horse. Horses, yep. Um, place of about 10,000 acres. Horse meat, no. <laughs> no. Kangaroo meat if you want it. Is it true that everything tries to kill you in Australia? Uh, I wouldn't say it tries to kill you. It is capable of killing you. But I wouldn't say it tries to kill you. Snakes? Had any close encounters? Um, not of the third kind. But um, snakes, spiders, I mean, I've come close to them. Um, but Sharks? No. No. Box jellyfish? Yes. You got stung? Or just close? Uh, I've been stung by a box jellyfish, yeah. Well, how did that go? Painful. <laughs> Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Picture someone sort of dragging a lit cigarette across your skin. Ooh. For an hour. So the pain kind of just carries on? Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they give you stuff to, to reduce it, but I yeah. mean, you basically got to live with it. So you're a geography teacher. Have you had any particularly interesting students that stand out in your memory? Oh. 25 years of teaching. Oh, yeah. There's going to be one at the top. Oh. Um, you don't. <laughs> I won't say. I mean, I, all i say is I've had lots and lots of interesting students. You know, interesting in different ways. Should we narrow it down to annoying? Um, well. <laughs> I'm not going to name anybody, but I've had, yeah, I've definitely had students that uh, possibly get on the wrong side of me or uh, irritate me. I'm, I'd hate to say that... Uh, I remember I when I was in your class, you had um, a brick. As... Brian? Brian's still over there. Oh, Brian! Brian yeah. is still there. Go bring over Brian. Brian <laughs> is still there. Um, but you haven't seen Brian's friends. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh. Year before what? last, year before last, oh, my year 13 <laughs> class, <laughs> year before last, my year 13 class, for their final lesson, I walked in, like and there was a brick with a photograph of each of them on the front. <laughs> That's Brian. And what is, what is Brian's use in the class? Brian's use in the class is to um, replace certain students when they're not, when they're not there, um, or to be a role model to certain students who perhaps might talk too much. So Brian sits next to them and they're allowed to talk when Brian talks. So what would be your opinion on kind of Australia's decline in their like dominance in sports? Um, well, they always punched above their weight for many, many years. Uh, other, com other countries are now putting far more funding into it. You only have to look at Britain as an example. Yeah. So really, a huge amount not, of funding. It's not really Australia's fault. Um, Australia hasn't funded as much. Other countries have caught up. Yeah. So, not to name any other teachers, but <laughs> Mr. Foster says that uh, the reason that Australia sort of does all right every now and then these days is because they're on drugs. Yeah. Uh, drug right. What do you say to that? Yeah. Um, no more or less than any other sports in any other countries. So it's okay. I'm not saying it's okay. I didn't say that. No. Um, it's easy. It's easy to point the finger at something that's currently in the news. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. You can't say that Britain, GB, UK, whatever hasn't had uh, its drug cheats. Linford Christie for one. Sure. Um, so you're a geography teacher. You go on quite a lot of trips, excursions around. It's one of the it's one of the nice parts of the job. Have you had anything? Were you one of the ones that got stuck in Iceland when Mount Eyfjallajökull? At Eyfjallajökull, yes. Yep. Um, what what was that like? Uh, very interesting. I mean, being there, seeing it. In fact, flying <coughs> in aeroplanes when everybody else on the ground in the world was on the ground was very interesting um, you know it never didn't feel unsafe or anything like that but it was you know we had three extra nights there because we couldn't fly out what did you do in those three extra nights because you hadn't planned anything for <coughs> we actually organized for the students to because they're all year 12 and 13 uh, to to do some work oh. um, we found a local library 
with computers and things like that and uh, we set up and organised for them to try and keep up to date as much as possible with the work that they were missing because we had, well, it's had three extra nights there. Did you have any other sort of close encounters or interesting events on one of on, these trips? On these trips, um, I suppose the Canyons trip a few years ago, um, there was a certain student who thought he was fairly manly and decided we were in Monument Valley in the USA and we were doing an open jeep ride in the back of jeeps through Monument Valley for an hour and a half or so and he came out wearing a t-shirt and jeans and this is April and we did sort of recommend you know it could get chilly but no he um, didn't want to listen to advice and we had a 10 minute snow shower whilst we were out <laughs> he was blue by the time we got back so what's your opinion on Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day? Um, yet another gimmick by the greeting card companies. So just a money kind of spending? For money spending, yeah. It's nice. I'm not disputing anybody who wants to, to do it, but um, it's a commercial marketing exercise. But do you, would you have any tips for anyone looking to get a Valentine's? On to get a Valentine's? Yeah. Or to give a Valentine's? Get. Or to get like a Valentine a person that they'd like to spend the day. Well, you're talking about giving a Valentine, yeah. I mean, getting, uh, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> giving, you have to do. Um, no, not Ooh. really. No tactics? Um, roses else. always go down well. So, so what would you say to those people that view geography as nothing but colouring? They're missing out on colouring. <laughs> Um, oh, it's a very, very broad subject. Um, you know, what other subjects at university can be both a science degree and an arts degree? Economics. Science? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Get right. it, though. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's very broad. It, it, it's got uh, mathematical elements, it's got historical elements, it's got uh, economic elements. You know, it's a very broad subject. <coughs> what made you want to study it? Um, I honestly don't know because I didn't do it at school. Oh, did you go straight into it? I took it up at university, yeah. Um, so I don't know, I, I didn't do it at school because there are other, other subjects that interested me more. And in fact, a couple of those I started at university and absolutely hated. What did you do at uni? I started off doing economics. 